Welcome to Integration Made Easy, a video series brought to you by Miracles Integration Center of Excellence Team. Hi everyone, I am Danesh Ande. I am working for Integration Center of Excellence Team. Now I am going to present a demo on Node.js with MongoDB on Docker and managing them with Kubernetes. This is my agenda for the day. I will give you an introduction to Kubernetes and its architecture diagram and also we will go through the Kubernetes dashboard and the prerequisites needed for the task and Nginx service running on Kubernetes and live demo. Kubernetes introduction. We are at an interesting phase in software development where the focus has clearly shifted now to how we can write distributed and scalable applications that can be deployed, run and monitored effectively. Docker took the first steps towards addressing the piece of puzzle by revolutionizing the toolset that made it easy for teams to ship, build and run software. The fact that we can now package all the application dependencies into a single package and run your applications anywhere. The Docker is supported has taken the pain out of distributing and running your applications in a reliable way. But is Docker enough? If you look at the current applications that have been deployed to serve a large number of users, running your applications across containers will not be enough. You will need to run a cluster of containers spread out across regions and capable of doing load balancing. Those are just a few of requirements. Other requirements expected from the today's large-scale distributed deployments include managing application deployments across containers, health checks across containers, monitoring this cluster of containers, ability to program programmatically do all of the above via a toolset or an API. This is where the Kubernetes comes in. As per its official page, Kubernetes is an open source system for automating deployment, scale, scaling and managing of containerized applications. Kubernetes has been built on software that has been developed at Google and which has been running their work workloads for more than a decade. A couple of years ago, Kubernetes has been one of the most popular repositories on GitHub. Key Concepts of Kubernetes Kubernetes has definitely gained significant mind share and is currently being promoted as the go for infrastructure software for running distributed container workloads. It comes with its own learning curve since it introduces various concepts like node, pod, replication controller, health checks, services, labels and more. We will have a clear understanding about this in the upcoming slides. Kubernetes architecture. Now we are going to look at the basic building blocks in Kubernetes. Here you can see the architecture of the Kubernetes. Let us break it down into key building blocks that we will need to understand. Cluster of nodes. In the diagram, a cluster is a group of nodes where a node can be a physical machine or a virtual machine. Each of the nodes will be having the container runtime and will also be running a kubelet service, which is an agent that takes in commands from the master controller and a proxy that is used to proxy connections to the pods from another component that we will see later. Pod. A pod is a group of containers that uh, form a logical applications. For example, if you have a web application that is running a Node.js container and also a MySQL container, then both these containers will be located in a single pod. A pod can also share the common data volumes and they are also sharing the same networking namespace. Kubernetes uses a simple but effective means to identify the pods via concept of labels. Master controller. This is the main controller for your cluster and it takes care of multiple things for you. Think of this as heart of your operations that enables all the features for which you want Kubernetes in the first place. Usually there is one master controller as you can see in the diagram and it has multiple components in it like uh, discovery service for pods, replication controller and an API manager to take in the commands from the command line and communicate to the nodes. Replication controller. One of the features that we talked about Kubernetes for is auto scaling of pods. This is done by the replication controller component. All you need to do is specify the number of pods, the container images that need to be started on them, and rules for launching or bringing down the pods. The controller will take care of scheduling the pods on the nodes. Kubernetes services. If we if we have multiple pods that are running, how to how do we ensure that there is a single endpoint to access them? A service takes care of that. It provides a unified way to route traffic to a cluster and eventually to a list of pods. Keep in mind that the same labels will be used to identify the pods. By using the service, the pods can be brought up and down without affecting anything. It is seamless to the client who is using it. 
load balancing in kubernetes suppose we have an application running on three different nodes and now if any application is down on any of the nodes then kubernetes is used to load balance the application among the pods prerequisites needed for the task are docker toolbox docker registry docker hub account uh, minikube.exe and kubernetes.exe file kubernetes dashboard this is the kubernetes dashboard and we will have a look at it in the live demo kubernetes versus docker swarm a recent study compared the performance of docker swarm to google kubernetes at scale while running 30000 containers across 1000 node clusters a fully loaded cluster is 1000 nodes running 30000 containers as nodes are added to the cluster and they, they are measured container at container startup time and system responsiveness this breakpoints happen when the cluster was 10% 50% and uh, 99% full at each of these low level 1000 test iterations are executed the result shows that uh, swarm is on average 5 times faster in terms of container startup time to run a cluster at scale in production nginx service running on kubernetes this is the simple nginx service running on kubernetes a uh, node js application running on docker and we are managing it with the kubernetes this will be showed in live demo now we will see the live demo this is my kubernetes dashboard and uh, you can see here uh, the nodes that are available and also we can see the deployments what are available here we are having sample hello world application and nginx demos and when we see the pods here we are having mongodb running on kubernetes and my employee application running on kubernetes which are running on two different pods and here we are having the services also like uh, my employee application node js application and mongodb which is running now i will show you the application that is running this is the sample nginx hello world application that is running on kubernetes through this application we can check the load balancing and everything and this is the actual application node js application that is running on docker and we are managing it on kubernetes this is node js crud application here if you see here we are having add add employee update employee get employee and delete employee we are adding the employee Employee as one two three. Department EI designation like developer. Now I'm clicking on add. The employee is added successfully. Now we will go to the home page. Now I will check the uh, employee details. Get employee. I will give the employee ID one two three. if you see here we are getting all the employee id details employee details which are inserted in the mongodb which is running on another pod and also we can update the details like um, i'm giving us tester and uh, salary as update it is showing us updated now again we will check the details see if you see here these are the updated details now we will delete the employee details see the employee is id is deleted now again we will check whether the details are there or not see there is no document with id 123 so this is my node js application running on uh, docker and we are managing it with kubernetes if you see here uh, in kubernetes pods if you click on mongodb we can see the logs everything 
like what are all the data that is inserted everything we can see in this logs thank you for watching our video on integration made easy a video series brought to you by Merkel's Integration Center of Excellence. For more information about this playlist and for more videos, please visit www.merkelsoft.com/ime.